Now, another prophecy I would like to read you. In Malachi, the fourth chapter of the book of Malachi, beginning with verse 5, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and the dreadful day of the Lord. It's talking about the day of the Lord, and before that time, someone will come. Elijah the prophet lived a long time ago. He is gone and dead. But someone will come in the power and the spirit of Elijah. John the Baptist came in the power and spirit of Elijah, but he was not Elijah, preparing the way for Jesus Christ at his first coming. He was a voice crying out in the physical wilderness of the Jordan River and preparing the way for the physical Jesus, born of the human virgin Mary and laid in a, in a manger because there was no room in the hotel, coming in his humility and coming to his physical people, Judah, and to the physical temple at Jerusalem at that time built of stone and wood and precious stones. But now a voice is to cry out before the second coming of Christ, coming in power and glory as the King of kings and the Lord of lords, to rule the earth and to deplace, replace Satan and displace Satan until he will not be here to deceive the world any longer and to put an end to this trouble and this slaughter and this great tribulation that is coming upon this world. And some voice has got to come in the spiritual wilderness of modern Babylon or confusion and call the people out of this Babylon. As you read the 18th chapter of the book of Revelation, come out of her, my people, and prepare the way for the spiritual Christ to come in power and glory as the King of kings and the Lord of lords and to come to his spiritual temple, the church that will rise and meet him in the air, changed from mortal to immortal, their faces shining as the very sun, their eyes as flaming flames of fire. I tell you, my people, we're coming to that time, and it's time for a voice to cry out and to tell the people that we're coming into that time and to say, come out of this Babylon of religious confusion of our day and believe the Word of God because there are many that are preaching something altogether different today.